isa sa mga kanta na naaalala natin nung tayo, tayo bata pa. Sapagkat ito ay naririnig natin kapag buwan ng Oktubre na Month of the Holy Rosary o kay Marian Month of May. Sapagkat ito'y ginagamit sa panimulang awit kapag nagrorosaryo o di kaya ay pag nagpoposisyon. Siguro naaalala din natin yung inihahandang sopas at sip o pinapay na pinapakain sa atin pag nagtapos ng magdasal. At siguro ito yung inaabangan natin na pante, yung pagkain. Pero hindi lang siguro ito ang maganda at nakatutuwang alaala ng Black Rosary. We also realized that these practices were our first catechesis and through it, we learned the first prayers that we decide and pray until now like the Lord's Prayer or Our Father, the Creed, and of course, the Hail Mary. Those practices also introduced us to Our Lady and Her Rosary. 
at nakatanong siguro natin, saan ba nagsimula ang deposyon, ang rosaryo, at ang dasal na abagino o Maria o Hail Mary? We really do not know exactly how the rosary started. We know that the prayer Hail Mary has its origin recorded in the New Testament. It was during the event when the angel Gabriel visited Mary and bring the message of God to her. And we read in the Gospel of St. Luke, In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel came to her and said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. In ancient times, when angels are sent to the patriarchs or the prophets, they will receive God's messenger with veneration and honor for the obvious reason that this is an extraordinary event. A being, an angel, higher than them, was sent by God to tell them about the message and plan of God for them. But during the Annunciation event, it was the angel Gabriel who greeted the Blessed Virgin Mary first and addressed her with such profound reverence. Hail, full of grace. Maybe the angel was struck by the exalted dignity of Mary and her preeminence. She is chosen, the one who gave birth to our Savior. And because of this, she was endowed with a special grace that no other person in history has been given. And because of this also, she was preserved from any state of sin. And the angel knew the importance of the cooperation and participation of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the salvific plan of God. That is why, of all the creatures, she is the only one who greeted by the angel with such admiration and respect. This greeting by the angel Gabriel became the first part of the first half of the prayer, Hail Mary. Ito yung unang linya ng ating kasal na Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. And this prayer began to appear in the liturgies of the church in the 6th century. By 10th century, the second part of the line was added. It was taken from the story of the narration of the birth of Jesus in the Gospel according to St. Luke. And again, we read, Mary set out to visit her cousin Elizabeth, also with child. And Elizabeth, inspired by the Holy Spirit, seeing the Blessed Virgin Mary, exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For how can it be that the mother of my Lord should come to me? The angel Gabriel and Saint Elizabeth both called her blessed among women, for she is indeed the most blessed of all women because of all the people in history, she was the one chosen to be the mother of the Savior of the world. There are other great women in the history of Israel, Judith, Esther, Susanna, and many others who have shown humility and courage to follow the will of God even if it might cost them their very lives. And they were victorious in overcoming evil that challenged their faithfulness to God through their obedience to the Lord. They have proven their faith and trust in God's never-failing mercy and love for the good of His people. Israel. And Mary far exceeds them all because of the importance of her cooperation in the ultimate salvation of the human race. The heroic deeds of these women in the past benefited a specific people in a specific period in history. But with Mary as the mother of the Savior, she captured all history. And then the next development was the addition of the name Jesus towards the end of the first part. The name Jesus was added at around 12th century, possibly by Pope Urban IV, because Christ is the very reason 
why we honor Mary. The incarnation of Christ and the God made man is the center of the liturgy and of all devotions. The rosary is about the life of Jesus as Savior of humankind. He is the name above all names. And Mary is blessed among all women because of Christ. He is the source and author of all her graces. When we praise the Son, we honor the Mother as well. And then the second half of the prayer addressed to Mary as the Mother of God and the closing petition that followed was added by the Church by 15th century and the official formulation was during the prophecy of St. Pope Pius V in 1568. So, nakompleto na yung yung dasal na Hail Mary. Nato na yung unang part, yung meeting in the name of Jesus and she was called Mother of God. And so, while the formulation of the prayer of salutation, the Hail Mary developed, the rosary prayer was also at the same time evolving. The praying using the beads is not exclusive to Christians. There are other religions that uses beads and strings with knots in their prayers. At that time, monks and priests prayed the 150 psalms every day as part of their regular life or routine. However, many common people were illiterate at that time and they want to pray also just like what the monks and priests do. So, they have to offer an alternative prayer in replacement for the Psalms so that the people can also pray. The 150 Our Fathers was used the substitute and was called Pater Noster Beads because they are using strings of beads to count their prayers. Repeated prayers using string of beads or knots was common in other religions and was prevalent at the time of St. Dominic. The Hail Mary was also being recited as well in the Creed. And later on, it became 150 Hail Marys and was called the Marian Psalter. At that same period, St. Dominic, a zealous and holy priest, was fighting the Albigensian heresy. During his time, he defended the faith but with not much success. The Albigensians believe that there are two gods, one evil who created the material world and the good God who created the spiritual world. This heresy became popular among the people at that time because of the moral laxity in the life of the clergy. And according to the story, when St. Dominic was distressed because of the lack of success of his effort in preaching to win back these people to the Catholic faith, he prayed to the Blessed Virgin Mary for help. St. Dominic knelt in the little chapel of Notre Dame de la Prouille and implored the Great Mother of God to save the Church. Our Lady appeared to him, gave him the rosary, and bade him go forth and preach. And in another story, Our Lady told him to use her Psalter in conjunction with his preaching of the mysteries of our salvation. And so St. Dominic began preaching again, but now with much fervor and confidence because of the promise of Our Lady, and he succeeded in combating the heresy at that time. He attributed the success of his preaching because of the help of Mother of God through the Marian Psalter or the praying of the Rosary. At that time also he formed a community of brothers to help him in his preaching ministry and founded the Order of Preachers which is known also as the Dominicans. <clears throat> Two or three centuries later, in 1569, the Dominican Pope, St. Pius V, officially approved the rosary in this form. Fifteen decades of Hail Marys and each decade is introduced by the Our Father and 
it is concluded with the glory be. For several centuries, this was the form of the rosary with 15 mysteries. It was in 2002 that Pope St. John Paul II added the mysteries of life through his apostolic letter Rosarium Virginis Maria. He explained, Certainly, the whole mystery of Christ is a mystery of light. He is the light of the world. Yet, this truth merges in a special way during the years of his public life when he proclaims the gospel of the kingdom in proposing to the Christian community the five significant moments, the baptism, the wedding at Cana, the transfiguration, and the institution of the Holy Eucharist. With the additional events in the public ministry of the Lord, the praying of the Rosary is now 20 decades with 20 mysteries. And we go to the next part. We ask, why pray the Rosary? The Rosary has always been part of the identity of us Catholics. You can see people carrying their Rosaries in their pockets and they place them in their cars, or in their homes, on this place altar. And we believe that there are obvious reasons why we pray the Rosary. And I named a few. First one is to honor our Lord Jesus Christ. According to the old catechism book, it says, The faithful are taught to honor our divine Redeemer in the 20 principal mysteries of His sacred life and of His Holy Mother. It is therefore an abridgment of the Gospel, a history of the life, suffering, and triumphant victory of Jesus Christ, an exposition of what He did in the flesh, which He assumed for our salvation. Therefore, it is meditating on the life of Jesus through the eyes of the Blessed Mother. And with that, it is an act of honoring our Lord with the help of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The second reason, the Blessed Virgin Mary's favorite prayer. In most of her apparition, her request to the visionaries is to pray the Rosary always and at all times. She always says that you always you pray the Rosary do penance for the conversion of sinners and for the salvation of souls. Lagi yung sinasabi ng Blessed Virgin Mary pagka siya ay nagpapakita sa mga visionaries. Meaning, ito ang dasal na gusto niyong marinig mula sa atin ang kanyang mga anak. Next one, the Blessed Mother gave us 15 promises if we pray the Rosary. Alanus de Rupe, a 15th century Dominican preacher who propagated the devotion to the Rosary two centuries after the death of St. Dominic de Guzman, he claimed that he was visited by the Blessed Virgin Mary who gave 15 promises to Christians who prayed the Rosary. And among them, the promises was uh, the Blessed Mother's special protection and the greatest graces the light of God, a powerful armor against hell, as well as dominance over misfortune. And the last one is the power of prayer. Saint Dominic was able to overcome heretics during his time because of the Marian Psalter or the Holy Rosary. And the reason why we October is the month of the Holy Rosary is due to the power of this prayer. It was in 1571, Pope Pius V organized a group of Christian forces known as the Holy League in defense of an imminent invasion by the Ottoman Empire before the battle with the Ottoman fleet in the Gulf of Patras in the Ionian Sea, the Pope called on all Europe to pray the Rosary for victory. These prayers was answered with the Holy League defeating much larger Ottoman forces on October 7 at the Battle of Lepanto. To commemorate the victory, Pius V established the Feast of Our Lady of Victory, and later, no, later known as Our Lady of the Rosary. To 
full of fluid. It is a collection of small beads representing our faith, but this faith is small as it seems. It is powerful enough to move mountains, to convert sinners, to heal the brokenhearted, to comfort the troubled hearts, and to transform our broken and chaotic world. But above all, it is an expression of our gratitude and love to God who loves us first, gave us His Son to redeem us. It is also the expression of our gratitude and love also to the Blessed Virgin Mary who never gets tired of loving us and caring for us. And because of her intercession, especially through the Rosary, God's grace is always given to us. And to end it, this reflection about the Rosary, I will quote two saints regarding their conviction of the Holy Rosary. First, from Saint Louis de Montfort. According to him, the Rosary is the most powerful weapon to touch the heart of Jesus, our Redeemer, who so loves His Mother. And the second one is from Saint Father Pio. According to him, the Rosary is the weapon for these times. With that, we have more reasons to rekindle our love and devotion to the Blessed Mother and her Rosary. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. In the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.